All right, hello YouTube. Um, a lot of people are having trouble reading their Kindle Fires because the software to do it is not uh, Mac OS supported, but that doesn't mean you can't do it. It is not hard at all. If you by chance have a copy of Windows, any form of Windows, or if you know how to acquire one via the internet, I'll show you how to use that install and how to install Windows inside of your Mac OS. What you're gonna want what you're gonna want is this little program right here. It's called VirtualBox. And once you have a copy of Windows XP or your own copy, whatever, you would want to click oh wait, let me show you how to get this first. So let's go inside one of these. Um well we don't need it. You would want to go on the internet of course. And you're going to type in VirtualBox. Fuck. Fucking neighbors. Okay, well. This isn't working out very well. All right. Well, I want to go to the VirtualBox actual dot org operating systems, and you could put any operating system in the VirtualBox. Like, I came across it when I used Ubuntu, which I still do. I have it. I have this Windows Seven and Ubuntu running dual boot. The fuck off me, you fucking bird. But um, you would want to go to downloads. And then this is the one you're going to get for the Mac users. You're going to want to use this one right here. And after you install that, after you download that, you're going to want to install it, which is nothing hard. I mean, you just click next, whatever. It's not difficult. If you never installed something in your life, you got some problems. Don't try rooting it. But uh, after you install it, you'll have a screen like this. You won't have these. These are the operating systems that I added, which is XP Fire, XP Matrix, and Vista, which is under fuck I don't know, because I couldn't remember what the hell I was installing at the time. But um, if you have an install disk, you want you're gonna if you have an install disk in the disk drive, or if you want to do it via USB, you can install it any way. It could either be a disk or it could be on a thumb drive. It doesn't matter where the fuck you have it, as long as you have a copy of Windows. You're going to want to hit new, you're going to want to hit next, and you're just going to put the name of whatever you want the name of the operating system, I mean, you can just put whatever it is, Windows XP, Windows 7, doesn't matter, and then you're going to want to hit next again, wait, and then this is your, uh, the, the uh, RAM size, okay, I've got about 4 gigs of RAM, so usually I go like, right before I get to the green, I'll give it at least a good gig and a half, but if you just have one gig or something like if you're installing Windows XP keep it at 512 I mean you don't need any more than that in fact you could probably go to 216 or some shit and then you would hit next again and then it'd be a startup disk blah 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 20 gigabytes the recommended size for VirtualBox is 10 gigs which comes out of your hard drive and uh, keep it on VirtualBox disk image and keep it on dynamically allocated and this would be how much how many gigs out of your hard drive space you would give to it and usually I give it about two terabytes no I was just kidding I don't do that shit usually I just stay around 10 20 if I'm installing Windows 7 I would give it 20 if it's XP it really doesn't matter I'd give it like 10 maybe 7 and then blah 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 after you do all that you'll be done just don't click cancel like I did I click cancel because I gives no fuck <clears throat> but then it would show up under here right and then you would double click it okay damn it I didn't mean to double click it you would double click that and it would ask you where to install this you know what give me a second blah blah Okay, it would show up under here. Like that's the one I just made. 
Don't ask why I put that. I'm not racist. I was just lazy. But you would double click it for the first time and it will add, it will help you install the operating system. Right here would be whether you use a disk or use a thumb drive or if it's just on your desktop. It doesn't matter where in the hell this is at. If it's on a, th if it's on a disk, just leave it there. Host drive D. If it's on a thumb drive or it's on your desktop, you want to click the folder option and search for wherever you put it at. Damn, there's where that son of a bitch was. I was looking for this. I lost it a while ago. And you would select it and then hit next. And then after that, you basically just follow the steps and install. And after that, you will have a Windows. After it's done installing, you can open it up. And this is Windows Matrix, which is pretty awesome because it's it's pretty legit. I like it. I like it more than the Windows Fire. Well, not the 7 Fire, but the XP Fire is a little better. And everything should work. Oh, no, everything shouldn't work. You want to hit Control Home. And you're going to want to go to Install Guest Editions. You just click that. Nothing will happen at all. So then you want to go down here to Start. You're going to want to go to my computer. Guest editions should show within this area. You'll see guest editions and it'll be a cube like VirtualBox icon. It'll look just like the icon. And then you're going to just want to install that and keep clicking next until it's done. After that, that should be working. And then one more thing you're going to want to do is, let me get out of this. And remember, this is virtual. This really will not take up space. It's only virtual. It only takes up space when it's actually open. When it's closed, that memory just goes back to your hard drive. So it will not take up as much space as you give it. Just whatever, man. And then, um, where's I going to go? Internet, internet, internet. You're going to want to go back to the VirtualBox website, and then you're going to want to get this. VirtualBox Oracle Extension Pack. You're going to need that for the rest of your stuff type deal, whatever. Just click all platforms, and when that pops up, have open with VirtualBox Manager so it knows to install it. And after that's installed, you're pretty much set to go with using the internet and stuff if you're running this. Wait, Max, I don't know. But you should be able to use the internet inside the VirtualBox. That should not be a problem. And pretty much you're done after that. You should have a legit operating system that's virtual and you can finish your tutorial on how to root your Kindle Fire. Or if you're trying to do something else that requires Windows, you can do it. It has everything. It has it has the drives and the computer and the folder and the program files. It has all that shit, man. It's, it's a complete operating system inside an operating system. So it would be pretty much good to go and uh, I'm not going to show you exactly how to root the Kindle Fire because there's already tutorials out there that explain how to do it pretty well but I'm going to post a link to one of the tutorials I'll post a link to the one I use which was pretty pretty good it, it helped me out and there was a couple things I had to find out on my own but not th not too many it was just minor things and uh, pretty much you're good to go and um, thanks for watching